Installing Plex on Docker. Um, this one is a very fun one. Uh, you can have your Plex Media Server installed on Docker. And so for this, we're going to go back to our uh, virtual machine that we previously had. Uh, we're going to connect with SSH. So let's open our terminal. Same as before. Put in your password. And okay, so we're going to navigate to our OPT Docker folder where we have all our Docker containers. Okay, so we're going to create a new folder here uh, called Plex. We're going to go inside the Plex folder. Okay, so we're going to write our uh, Docker Compose configuration file. I'm going to use Vim for this. Docker compose.yml. Remember, you have to respect uh, this name for it to work. Okay, now I'm going to pull up my notes here and I'm going to take the configuration from, from there. I'm going to copy this configuration, paste it into Vim, and that's it. Okay, so let's go through this. Same thing as before. Version, services, flex. The image that we're using is from uh, Linux server um, IO. It's a already done Docker image. We're using the latest uh, release. Uh, the container name, flex, very simple, nothing to change there. Now, the network mode. When we say network, uh, network mode host, this means that the container is going to use the network of the host. It's not going to do any net Docker networks for this container, meaning that the IP of your VM or your server is going to be the IP of the container. This is recommended with Plex so that you can um, easily forward ports on your firewall and you can uh, that way have access from uh, outside of your network. So like in the public internet. Now environment here, we have a couple of environment variables that are supported on this uh, specific image. Uh, the PUID and PGID, this is basically the user on your host that uh, it's going to be used to run the container. Uh, you can create a new user called Plex and uh, use that user, or you can just put zero and it will use the root user. In this case, I'm just going to use zero. So next thing is the time zone, America, Toronto. I'm in uh, closer to Canada. So this is my, my time zone. It's like a EST, Eastern time version. This comes default uh, version Docker in the in the configuration of the image. And so volumes. Volumes is a very interesting thing uh, in Docker where we can map folders on the host uh, into the container. So by us putting a, a dot slash config here, it means that it's going to create a folder in the current working directory where we are. In this case, slash opt docker plex. And it's going to map this folder to the slash config folder in the Docker container. Same thing for media here. So everything that is on the left is the host and everything that is on the right is the Docker uh, container. And our restart policy here is restart unless stopped. Meaning that if the Docker container is running and uh, something happens to the VM, the server restarts or, or anything like that, uh, the, the, the Docker container is going to restart automatically. But if we decide to stop the container manually and then the VM restarts or anything like that, the Docker container is not going to um, restart automatically. We will have to manually go and start the container. Okay, so knowing this, let's save our configuration file. And as you can see here, there's no folders or anything. And now let's run our container. So we're going to do Docker compose up slash D to run in detach mode. Now it's going to go ahead and pull the image for us. Okay. So our Docker container is up and running. Now let's, let's check the status of the container by doing Docker PS. 
Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so as we can see, we have a container here called Plex. We still have our old container uh, from the last video, the R engine server. Um, you, we can see that the Docker container for Plex has its ID, the image, the command that is running in the container, how long ago it was created, and the current status. As you can see, there's no ports or anything here that is um, being forwarded to the Plex container. This is because we chose network mode host. Now, Plex has a specific port that we need to open in our firewall for this to work. So configuring the firewall. First, we need to list all the, the zones that we have in our firewall. To do that, we have a command here that we're going to use from my notes. Firewall dash CMD list all. And as we can see, our current active zone is the public zone. So we need to add a port here, which is Plex port. Um, the, the port that Plex uses is um, 32400. So we're going to add that now to our firewall. To do that, we're going to use this little command here. So we say a permanent because we want this rule to be permanent on the firewall. So if the VM gets restarted, that uh, rule is still going to be there. And uh, the zone that we want to put this rule on is the public zone, as we see is our active zone here at the top. So now we just need to add the port. In this case, we need to change this from 80 to 32400 slash TCP. We execute that. Okay, success. And now let's check again our public zone. So as you can see, the uh, the changes that we did are still not in effect. So to do that, we need to execute another command, which is called firewall-cmd reload. So this is going to reload our firewall. And if we check back for our changes, we can see that the port is now here being open in our Linux firewall. Okay. So now we have our container up and running. We have our firewall rule in place. Now let's see if we can navigate to this um, to this Plex instance. So we're going to open our browser. OK, so we're going to type HTTP. And then the IP of our VM. We're going to put in the port 32400. And if you type just this, you're going to get like this weird XML error. So to, to avoid this, we have to put an extra uh, stuff at the end, just slash web slash index dot HTML. And with that, now you can see that we are connected to our Plex server in our Docker container. I just want to set up a couple of things so that you guys can see uh, where do you need to put your uh, media. So remember, um, here that on our Docker configuration, now we have two folders in our slash opt Docker Plex uh, folder. One is the configuration of the server and the other one is called media. So this media folder is going to be the folder where you need to put all of your uh, movies and TV shows so that they can be synced to Plex. Now, if you don't like to put um, all your media into slash opt slash docker plex um, and maybe you have an array of drives or you have mount points where you have other drives and or stuff like that well then the only thing that you need to do is you need to come here edit your configuration file and map the drive or the mount point where all of your all of your media is so if your media is in slash mnt slash storage storage one slash movies or something like that, then th that would be the, the path that you need to put in the in your configuration file of the container, and then it's going to map it. So let's go uh, quickly through the process here uh, with Plex. Uh, we can skip the this. And OK, we go next. OK, so here's the part where you would add your library. So if you click Add Library and then Let's just add movies. That's fine. Just give it a name, language, English. So here is where you're going to browse for media. So you click browse for media. And as you can see, we have a Linux uh, 
directory uh, structure here. So what we're looking for here is our media folder. So this Linux structure here is basically what's inside the Docker container. So all of this is the Docker container. It's not actually your host. But as we map the media drive before, uh, the media folder, we have a media folder here inside the container, which corresponds to this folder here. Okay, so we just add media and then we click on add. So it's our slash media, add library. Okay, we click next and finish. And that's it. We have our, well, right now it's just called local host, but as you can see, this is our server. I was already logged in with my Plex account, but um, if you were not logged in already, it's probably going to ask you to log in. So uh, for this, you need a Plex account. I would suggest you go to plex.tv and just register a free account and log in with that. If we go to our settings here, we can see that we have localhost domain. That's our current test server. And it says that it's up to date and everything. Now, if you want to give access uh, externally, so uh, outside of your local network, as you can see right now, there's nothing, uh, we don't have access to the, uh, from outside of your local or home network. For this, you would have to click on manually specify a port, and then you would have to go on your firewall or your router at home, and you would need to forward port 32400 to the IP of your server, which is, 0.242. Once that's done and you come back here, you should be able to see that your server is reachable outside of your uh, local network. And that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this quick tutorial on how to install uh, Plex on Docker. And leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any 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 questions or any any suggestions, just let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.